Saliha. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are Team Nemo from Chiang Mai University. Today, we have two scenarios to present to you. Our scenario is inspired by our capital cities, Bangkok, and our province, Chiang Mai. Let me introduce my province first. Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is the province in, in the north of Thailand. And people who just live in Chiang Mai have a solo life lifestyle. But people who live in the Bangkok is a little dynamic. So they have to do everything so fast. Uh, let's begin with our first scenario. Our first scenario is Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai has a low population density, but that population density is not included. Students who come from another province to learn to or do anything, or uh, tourists who come to travel more and more in every year. So we have to handle this event, and I guess our uh, fund, uh, government funding is maybe not enough to manage everything in Chiang Mai. So let's see what's happening on our scenario. Let's start with the first topic. It is about habitat. Uh, our our city has many of students who come from other provinces or tourists who come to travel every year and it costs more building and more public area in our city and it is really messy. So we decided to use the urban planning as a rectangular urban planning. Is it a rectangular housing as a townhouse which is located in the center of the city so we can cut through the road so we can go anywhere easier and also we will put the park in the middle of the rectang like a rectangular housing so we will have more green area also and moreover we will install the solar panel on every rooftop of each house so we can reduce the cost of electricity that we have to buy from electricity authority Next, let's see what we do with our urine in our water supply management. Let's see the videos. The urine contains a mixture of the main elements, urea and H2O. This water treatment system treats wastewater and separates H2-3 molecules. Later, H2 is used as power to for car engines. Other products derived from molecular extraction, such as carbon, can be used to create carbonaceous compounds such as carbon fiber. N2 and O2 can be released into the atmosphere. The use of hydrogen as a vehicle power. In the combustion process of hydrogen to waste up only the steam from the combustion process, the energy is considered environment friendly. About transportation, because of the number of the private car I increased in my city, it caused many problems. And the public transport in my city is not efficient. It's poor quality and bad service. So we create something to solve this problem. Example, electric bus. We decide is to have a good quality and high standard. And let's talk about the load. The charge of the load is actually positive, same as the dust. So we just put some chemical thing to make the load, the charge of the load to be neutral, to make the load easy to clean. And we separate the load lane into three lanes. Once the personal car lane, two the bus lane, and three walk park and bicycle lane. According to the energy consumption, because of people are increasing, the waste are increasing too. We just take them to make the making the biogas. Let's see video of the biogas system. Add food scraps, manure, dairy, and meat products with equal parts of water to produce an aerobic environment. In digester, the bacteria consumes the waste and releases gases including methane and CO2 which are used as biogas. 
The biogas will be scrubbed out CO2 and sulfur, then using a gas electric generator or natural gas boiler system to generate electricity. Not only creating biogas to generate electricity, but the system also produces rich liquid fertilizer for plants. Add foods. One of the most important topic about our country is education. We all know that Thai students have many hours per day to study in school, but they also start <coughs> attending the extra class on the weekend, which is to make them learn a lot but cannot use it in real life. It is just for ex passing the exam, so we think, I think it's really not efficient for our city. So we decided to increase more about the time for them to doing an activity so we can let them know what their goal in life are and so they can know what they want to do in the future. Also, we will support more about the research and the careers and we will use the technology like VR or hologram to make them interest more about what they are learning. And the next topic is about food. For the agriculture, the, we use chemical fertilizer to make more products, but we all know that it causes toxic, which is very bad for our body. So, as also, our city, some of the people don't like agriculture or they ignore about planting, so we have less green area, even we have increased more about populations. So, we have to use technology to help about the production so we can use less chemical and gain more green area. Also, we will give the people about the, in, the information about how to do agriculture in the future. And also, this is just a model for our city in 2050. And we can't make it happen for real if we don't gain any support from our government. And we think about the policy of this city as well as the, we, we will collect the text from the people who comes to travel or study in our city, but not going to register in the registration for, for our, our city because because of we will don't know how many people with within our city now and we will have no more support to develop our city. And also we will limit the number of the tourists who come to travel in every year because it will cause the nature to be destroyed. So we want to have time for the nature to recover them, themselves and it is all about the first scenario. Okay, the first is present to you a residential area. That is the requirement of most big and green area. The most of living place in the town have a, is high light building. High light building can save area and make them get more space and green area. <coughs> Moreover, we will set up at a smart home in UCL home. And also install a cold system water supply. It makes a station run on a fixed amount of air and water. Uh, in part of transpiration, we forgot our one hydrogen car, two hydro roof. The train drive on a magnetic railway with a low air pressure and three Heaven sky, the train run between the building for a short distance. Next, the energy source of the city. Because the city is close to the sea, so we should to take the benefit of it. Let's see the video. Energy source from sea. Working process. 1. Create buoys to float on sea's surface and connect the pillar from the buoys to the seabed. 2. The pillars will be moved all the time through the sea waves. We can generate electric energy from the movement of pillars. 
This generator will not much affect to ecosystem because the buoys cannot hide sunlight to the sea. Aquatic plants will receive sufficient sunlight and there will be no polluted water. Another sort of the energy another sort of the energy is from the footstep of the people in the city. Let's see the video. Power generating <coughs> floors. Working component the machine will be installed in public area full with crowd people. The energy will be generated when people walk over and crush on the machine. The energy will be transferred to use in the appliances nearby such as lighting in public area, lamp, lighting on path. The machine gain energy from physical action which is environmental friendly, reduce expense from energy usage from central, there will be rewards for person who can reach the goal to encourage exercise and stimulate economic and economic areas such as shopping malls, too. In terms of maintenance, first is base system installation and install assembly sheets in case to be replaceable if the sheet is broken. There is also gutter and base to prevent water logged in the system that may lead to system damage. Education, education in Thailand. We have many problems like inequality problem and traffic jam. I think traffic jam is a problem for anything else. And for, for solve this problem, we create something like semi home school children can learn for a subject at home and after that they they should go to school for practice some skill like communication, living skills, something like that and for reducing traffic jam problem. And education center. Education center students can make can do some test that equal test and develop teacher skill. More inclusion, more people, more important food. Because we don't have land to plan. So we bring agriculture building. Let's see. Agricultural buildings are divided each floor to suitable for growing plants. For example, plants that are resistant to high temperatures planted at the top of the building. Increasing agricultural areas will reduce imports and create jobs for the disabled or unemployed. So, in my opinion, the government must do many things to make this scenario come true, such as the government support the budget to develop the public transport to be more efficiency, lower price, and cover all the area, and set up the education department. How about you? What does your future in 2050 look like? Thank you. And this is my team. <laughs> if something is not clear, you can get more information by scanning this QR code by your telephone. <laughs> Question first before they will join you at your tables for a more intimate conversation. We have time for maybe two or three questions. Someone. Maybe a question for clarification. Um, or maybe I think if you don't have friction, you can suggest. <laughs> How about one question for the for them? Please, sir. First off, very interesting presentation on, on both models. Very, very good. Thank you. Very wow. Good. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Uh, I, could, I could tell you put a lot of thought into it. Um, you, you were all college students right now, correct? High school, college? College. Okay. Um, I can remember long, long ago when I went to college to an engineering school and it was, college was very difficult. But probably the reason you were going to college now is so you could have uh, a, a bright future and as you look forward into the future for these two scenarios um, I see in, in most of the scenarios I see a few similarities where you're going to college so you can have a good job and and take you where your destiny and where your efforts permit but in your scenarios in the future 
there seems to be some pretty, uh, the word I want is, uh, I, I think it's socialistic overtones where you will have a house that's square, you will drive this sort of car, um, and there may not be very much personal choice. So I guess I'm kind of wondering, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer, but is does that have to be the way we go? Or, you know, I think of an analogy of mold growing in a Petri dish. The Petri dish is only so big, the mold continues to go to the edge, and guess what happens when it gets to the edge? It dies, because there's no more room. Are we smarter than the mold? Any reaction, any thoughts about how you will live in the future it doesn't look so simple? Let, let me talk more about the rectangular style of housings. We think about that because of, oh, we just think about that in the middle of our city because actually in my city, we got some of the room for the people who live in the main town. You have to make some your house in the same way already, so we just designed to manage more about them. But we didn't mean all of our city because in Chiang Mai, there is a lot of uh, areas that we can do anything more. Okay, maybe one more question before we get to this subject. So you are in college, yep. Yeah? thought about the future, have a lot of wonderful ideas from you know, how you uh, think about energy, plants, tourists, uh, government, and education, all these things. And you are one day going to graduate from the school and get into the society. How, how do you think about you in your life that's going to make something happen or make a difference? And what's your passion? If you can tell a little bit your personal aspiration, you know, how you think you're going to create a total different future uh, in your own career. Um, each of you probably have different thoughts on that. That would be um, good to know how you think about your future. Would be. From my point of view, because I I'm into something like green energy, the energy as a renewable energy, which is don't cause much pollution or affect the nature. Because I live in Chiang Mai, like we don't build up make very high building because we don't want to lost our view for the mountain. So we decide that. I will use the car or will gain some more about the renewable energy like using solar panel that we think we will install on the rooftop or using hydrogen car that will release the nitrogen and oxygen as an equal in the for for being like a normal system for the world. And also, I think about we we'll use biogas because we live in Chiang Mai. We have farming. We still have it, and some of our village have the knowledge about the biogas already. But they just don't know that not not just the domestic anymore. The waste from them that can be that can be produced uh, biogas. But we can use our food waste or any waste like a plant, plant biomass or something else to gain more biogas so we can generate electricity that we can use in all our village that will be maybe possible in the, our hometown in next 30 years. 